Hi, I'm Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, I am Hannah. Um, I am a knitter and mom and uh, YouTube podcaster. <laughs> um, I also design uh, kids designs for knitting um, and I live in North Carolina with my husband and my son, Ollie. So I just like to share a little bit about what I'm working on, um, like kind of bi-weekly. So the normal format of how I do this is my um, finished objects. I usually do it from the archives, so something I'm finished before I started this podcast, um, what I'm working on now, and then um, any acquisitions that I might have. I also asked for some assumptions about me that um, people might have so we can just get to know each other better. And so I've been including one of those at the end um, of my podcast. So that is always fun as well. <laughs> um, as always, if you um, like my content and my designs, um, a great way to support me is by liking or subscribing or commenting um, on this video so that other people can see it and YouTube can say, watch this video, people like it. <laughs> um, that would be great. Um, I noticed that I'm getting close to 1,000 subscribers, so I wanted to be thinking about what I wanted to do for that. Let me know in the comments if you have something you'd like to see from me in a video. Okay, let's get started. I only have one finished object today. Um, I said in my last video I had a sample knit that took up a lot of, um, of my bandwidth for the whole month, and so yeah, I was working on that. And yeah, recently... Um, I just haven't had a lot of time to knit for myself. I've been working on design, a couple designs actually, and um, just that has taken up a lot. Haven't had as much time um, to knit because the fall is busy. So I only have one finished object. It's this, it's a hat. Um, it's a hat for my son, Ollie. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it in my stories. Um, he loves it. I recently shared that he did not like his snow globe sweater that I made him, which is fine. Well, it's not that he didn't like it. He just didn't want to wear it, which is okay. He doesn't really like to wear jackets, sweaters, things like that. But this hat, man, he, he loves it. He wears it all the time. The other day, um, I dropped him off and somewhere and then I went to get him like two hours later and he still had his hat on. Oh, sweet little boy. Um, so yeah, he really likes it. I really like it. I don't know if you can see the crown shaping. That's something I'm really proud of. Um, this is a design that was that's mine. Um, I'm writing it up now and then going to send it for tech editing soon. So um, yeah, so I don't know when I'm going to release it and I don't have a name for it, but I'm planning it to be like a baby through adult size. So um, that's exciting. It'll be my first like adult pattern. Um, it's cables and a little brim that you can fold up. I did a tubular cast on because I love the details. A lot of my designs um, are more simple, but they have details like a tubular cast on which bothers some people but I kind of love them because if you're gonna wear something that is more simple or knit it for someone like a little child whatever I I wanted to have like those thoughtful details that just make it seem really well well made and well thought through so anyways um, I need to get this um, out the door <laughs> basically um, I used Pearl Soho Worsted Twist um, this is Wild Lupine Heather. I don't know if you can see the little Heather. Yeah, there it is. It is so pretty. So I have enough um, to make my husband one as well. So I'll probably make him the size. And then those will be my two samples. And I'll take pictures of them. And that will be my, you know, marketing. <laughs> um, because we're all about being really practical um, over here. So, yes, that will be coming later. Um, my From the Archives today is this beautiful sweater. If you can see the color. Yes. So this is a sweater number eight by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Before I start, I just wanted to say um, it's not size inclusive. So 
I am sorry if you're not able to knit this sweater. Um, a lot of her patterns are not size inclusive, but I have seen that she is starting to make her new one size inclusive, which is awesome because all of her patterns are just, like I wanna knit all of them, but it's hard because not everyone can. Anyway, that was a side note, but I knit this maybe uh, last year. Um, my sister knit one as well, but she doesn't love hers. I think she might have given it away, um, but it's kind of a funny shape, <laughs> um, but I really like it on. I think I have an old picture of me wearing it on, so I'll just share that. I haven't worn it that much because I finished it, um, I think, was it two years ago? Last year? I don't even remember, but it, um, it got warm like right after I finished it, I think. So yeah, I don't wear it that much, but I'm looking forward to wearing it this fall and winter. Um, it is made out of, I held together two strands of Brooklyn Tweed Peary. Peary? Yeah. The colorway is gingerbread. It definitely looks like a gingerbread cookie. <laughs> I just love the details. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like a gingerbread cookie. I love my, one of my, probably my favorite seasonal cookies um, is like a ginger, ginger molasses cookie. That's my favorite. So um, yeah, if anyone has any dairy-free ginger molasses cookie recipes, let me know because <laughs> I love them so much and I haven't had them in a few years. So anyway, I do really like the sweater. Um, it was fun to knit, sort of. I learned a lot of new techniques, um, but it did take a long time. I'm trying to think what's, I think I knit the smallest size, um, size one. And yeah, I like the fit. It's kind of like a bat wingy here, um, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't really bother me. I just um, haven't gotten to wear it because it's been... I finished it when I was warm. And full disclosure, I'm not wearing anything knitted today because it is warm here. <laughs> and I, um, I want to be transparent and not just put on a sweater to record. Although if you do that, that's totally fine um, because it is a knitting podcast. So <laughs> why not just put on your sweater to record? But um, yeah, it's actually pretty warm today, surprisingly. Um, all of October here was pretty cool. And then November was like, oh, maybe I'll go back to like, you know, 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so no sweaters, but I do try to wear something hand knit um, every day. So if we go out later, I might put on some socks um, with my tennis shoes, some hand knit socks, obviously. <laughs> um, okay, so that was my From the Archives. And now I have works in progress and I have a lot of these. <laughs> Sorry, I had to adjust my camera. I felt like I was like slowly having to sink down with it. <laughs> um, okay, so for my works in progress, this sweater. The sleeve looks really short. Maybe I need to add some length to it, but um, this is a, a sample for um, a sweater that's currently in testing for me, uh, one of my designs. And, and it's a collaboration with Sharon from Ray Knits. Um, she hand dyes yarn. And so I have the colorway Toasted Sesame right here. Just this gorgeous color with a little bit, you can see there's like a little bit of color change. Um, and then I also use that color for the um, the second yarn from her. So I just sent the pattern off to my testers today. So I probably won't see any um, like pictures for a while. Look for this pattern in January is when I'm planning to release it. I like to give a long, long, long test period um, for my test knitters because kids and life and just all that happens, especially now it feels like everyone's sick. Um, so anyway, yes, I want one for myself so much. <laughs> I want this so much. I just like, this is the smallest size. Like, will it fit me? <laughs> no, <laughs> but um, I just really like the yarn. It's so soft. Like Sharon's yarn is just beautiful. So anyway, the colors that some of my testers have picked out, I'm like, oh, I want that. I want that so much. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna live vicariously through my son. Um, yeah, cause he has a little vest. Um, I can't remember if I shared that on here. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, so he has a little vest that I made him and he hasn't worn it yet, but hopefully he will like it like he likes his hat. <laughs> okay, now an adult sized work in progress, right? 
Um, I shared the picture of this on my Instagram the other day and the color, I just like could not get it right. So if you want true color, I'm about to show it. <laughs> I'm using this yarn. This is um, Little Fox, Little Mo, and Pelborn Woolen's Scout uh, Sunflower Heather. And this is my September jacket, um, which I started in September, <laughs> unintentionally. So this is it. Have one sleeve done. Woohoo! Um, it is just beautiful. I am excited about it. The color is like brighter than I. Like I knew what color it was, right? But now when I like put it up next to myself, I'm like, wow, that's a little bright. I am more of a a rust colored, <laughs> gingerbread colored kind of girl. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still have one sleeve left. I know it's on double points. That's like the worst thing for a brioche. <laughs> I'm like, oh, just get this done. Um, I don't think that focused. Yeah, so I have on double points because that's the size I have for a seven. Um, but yeah, not ideal. I just want it to, to be done, but I keep putting it off because um, I know it's gonna take me a little bit. Um, usually sleeves are pretty fast for me, but this one actually took me a while, obviously because of the brioche, but it's like, look how tall it, or like how wide it is. It's like an inch <laughs> or more. So anyway, it's like very squishy. And um, I just did the, I didn't do mohair for like the cuffs and I modified the neck band. Actually, that's something I should say. Um, size, I did a size two and I modified the neck band instead of like the ribbed, the one by one rib that was going um, horizontally. I decided to knit it vertically and do um, like a double knit. So I'm hoping, yeah, it's pretty stretchy. Say I hope it doesn't bite me and like it doesn't stretch at all and I have to pull it all off and everything, but I think it's gonna be fine. The only thing I'm worried about is right here along the neck. It is pretty tight um, just cause like stitch and row gauge changed. And I think maybe I should have like picked up a couple of extra stitches as opposed to just one to one. So I don't know, I'm like a little worried, but I don't really have a finish date in mind for this project. Probably if I told myself like I have to finish it by, you know, a certain date, then it would be way better. But instead, I'm just letting it hang out. And um, by Christmas, I mean, that's a while from now. I can definitely finish this leave in two months, but will I? I don't know. I've got a lot of projects to finish before then. Um, okay, so now I have, um, I have two other works in progress and they are child sized. So um, this is um, a Micah's Raglan sweater, which is one of my designs um, that I knit inspired by my nephew Micah. <laughs> um, he is a little cutie, but yes. So this one is for um, a dear friend um, and I'm knitting this size six years. No, four years, this is four years. I'm thinking about putting her initial on it. I kind of think that would be cute. Um, but yes, I, um, I have to do the neck band and the sleeves. So I just, it's gonna be a Christmas gift, so I have to finish it by Christmas, so I'm not like super worried, but like I wanna get it done so that it's out of my mind because I feel like I have all these things in my mind that I keep like picking up that I need to do and um, I just wanna finish like one of them, right? <laughs> Um, but it's okay. It's okay. So yes, I just have to do the collar. I think I'll finish, maybe I'll finish that today. Um, and I might take this with me. We're going to visit family, um, on the East coast. And so I'm like, maybe I'll just bring this and just like knock it out, be done. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, but my other work in progress is actually another Micah's Ragged sweater. This is the sample size sample I knit so you might uh, recognize it it's in all the pictures but I've been thinking about um so it fits my son except for that it's too short this year um and so I thought about I have this much yarn left so I thought about undoing the bind off and just adding more ribbing um not like taking the ribbing out <laughs> but undoing the ribbing adding like another inch 
and then I think it would fit him and he could wear it this winter. Um, yeah, this is the size. I think this is the smallest size or maybe it's the second size. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't anticipate it fitting him this year. So I didn't really worry about the length um, because I knit it. I think I released this in the summer, spring, spring. So I didn't, I just knit it to pattern, but I think now if I was knitting it for him, I would definitely make it longer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see if it's well, it's very cute, but it's definitely just too short. Um, so I was, I was thinking about adding this on, but I, I'm not really sure how to do that. It feels like a little bit of like mending or something. Um, just making it work. And I want him to have this sweater, but it's also the sample. So I'm like, ah, oh, what do I do? I don't know. Anyway, what would you do? <laughs> If you knit for a little person, do you just make them something new? Like, should I just make him a whole new sweater or add it to the bottom? Like, that would definitely be less work. There's not that many stitches, like, to rebind off. I did do a tubular bind off. Bummer. But I can do it again. I'm not worried. If he can get more wear out of it, I would love that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show the yarn for this this pink one. This is Cascade 220 Superwash. Um, I think the color is like Pink Rose or Pink Dawn. My sister and I are both knitting one um, because they are twins, there's twins. And she's knitting an orange one. And the orange is super cute, but this pink is adorable and I love it. And I've never used Cascade 220 Superwash, but I see a lot of people use both the Superwash and the non-Superwash. And because this is a gift, I was definitely gonna go Superwash. Um, but I really, really like it. I've thought about buying some for myself. It's just like, you know, what you think of when you think of like an everyday wear, sturdy sweater. And I kind of want that in my wardrobe, in my life <laughs> um, for my child. So yeah, I think I'm going to get some more. Maybe I'll do the, the non-super wash one because I'll be caring for them. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It feels great. Like it's not like, you know, I don't know. It just, it feels nice. I like it. I'm happy with it. We were really concerned about which yarn to choose and which colors and um, very happy with, with how that turned out. So anyway, those are all my works in progress. I don't have too many. Um, like I said, most of them are just like in my brain rumbling around. I do have another Micah's Raglan sweater, which is crazy. I'm knitting so many <laughs> um, in progress, but I haven't made any progress lately on it. Um, but I'm knitting it for my dad for his birthday in a couple of months. And yeah, I have like, I don't know. I have the body and the sleeves left. Let's say that. I have, I split for sleeves and I did a little bit of the body, but yeah, I've got a little bit to go on that. Thankfully, um, I graded the pattern up a little bit. And so I'm using like a worsted Aran weight yarn. And so it is going faster, but it's still like an adult size sweater. Um, so yeah, I just have to finish it by mid-January. I can do that. I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, acquisitions. So I actually have acquisitions this week. Usually I don't have a lot of acquisitions because I'm just like, I would say casually trying to work through my stash. Um, and I just, I don't have a lot of new projects in this season. It feels like my sort of knitting for myself ended and like gift knitting or, um, yeah, mostly just gift knitting is kind of taking over the next two-ish months, um, which is fine, but uh, yeah, I just don't need a lot of yarn right now. <laughs> um, there's always yarn I would like to get, but I just, I don't have any uh, on the horizons. So I did get some yarn though, because my sweet husband, and my son went to a yarn shop, which is so funny to me. I went and visited a friend who had a baby in August. So we went to go see her baby and her, because I hadn't seen her in like before the pandemic. Um, and she lived a couple of hours away. So a friend and I drove up there for the day and met her sweet little baby. And um, it was very fun and he was very sweet. He just slept a lot. But anyway, um, while I was gone, my husband and son went to a yarn shop to pick out some yarn for um, a friend. And so, well, it was for me to knit a gift for one of my husband's good friends. Um, and so they picked this out. Oh, there it is. Um, this is Kelborn Woolen Scout Lucky Tweed and the color black. 
Um, so it has these cute little, oh, what are those called? I don't want to, I don't want to get it wrong. I don't know what they're called. Okay, somebody help me out. <laughs> the, the little flecks of color in there. Um, so I have like been eyeing this yarn for a little bit, but yeah, it's to knit my new hat pattern in to gift to one of my husband's good friends, um, probably for Christmas. But um, anyway, so it was so cute. He texted me, he's like, okay, what weight yarn and how many like balls of yarn do I need? So it was very cute that he like knew he needed to ask like what, um, what weight. He went to Freeman's Creative, which is um, our local yarn store and um he and ollie got churros and went to the yarn shop and i think he asked for some help finding like where is your <laughs> worsted weight yarn and um but anyway he did so good he was like i recognized um the <laughs> the kelborn woolens because we have a lot of kelborn woolens around the house like scout usually um but like my sister uses their other um uh, I can't remember. Anyway, so he recognized the K for Kelborn, and so he was like, that one. I'm going to get that one. So he got this couple skeins for a hat, which I think there'll be some left over, so I might get to use that. Um, or I'll just make him something with it. Um, and then he also got me one. Um, he got me the color Mulberry. So cute. So it's not really coming through very well, but it's like a deep, like purple, pink, almost. It's like more purple than like a red burgundy, like wine color. It's more like purple pinky. It has those little flecks are pink um, and purple. So I think this would make a nice hat um, for me, but I haven't decided what I'm gonna make. It's probably just gonna go into my stash so I can look at it and be like, I'm so loved. Someone picked this out for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it got me just thinking about him and Ollie walking around the little yarn shop together, like picking out some yarn for mom. So sweet. So yeah, that was very cute. I appreciated them sending me pictures um, while I was gone. So yes, those are my acquisitions. Oh yes, my assumption. Um, I forgot to share one last time. I don't know what happened, <laughs> um, but I'm just slowly working through them. Um, but the assumption I'm going with like a personal life one today. The assumption was, um, you got married very young. Okay. Okay. I think I was expecting knitting related assumptions, but I did ask for any assumptions. So it is only fair that I get assumptions about this. A lot of them were related to my age many of them were related to my age. Um, but yes, I would say I got married kind of young. Um, I got married at 21. I believe the US average is 28. So that is much lower <laughs> than the national average if you are kind of, um, you know, marking it by that. Um, I didn't feel super young, but I guess you never do, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, my husband and I, we were he was out of college. Um, I had a semester left when we got married and we were both working. Um, I just had a few classes and so we were both working and we're just like, okay, college is done. Like we're just ready to start our lives together, um, get a house together. And yeah, so we got married and it was great. <laughs> Um, obviously like you always, when you, you know, entwine your life with someone else, um, you learn a lot about them. Um, I don't know, we get along really well. So we didn't have a lot of those like big fights or like big, you know, oh, he does this and I hate it or whatever. We just didn't have that. We don't have that now. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. It worked for us, but you get married or don't get married whenever you want. Um, that was just our uh, our experience um, so happy memories um about that and yeah i can't wait to keep sharing these with you it's kind of funny um that most of them were related <laughs> to my so that's all i have for today thank you for watching if you've made it this far i really appreciate it 
and um, I'm just looking forward to getting to know you guys more on YouTube. I'm also pretty active on my Instagram, so that's a uh, better way to keep up with like my day-to-day -day life. And then I share my big projects and updates here. So thank you for watching. Happy knitting. Have a great weekend.